you Tigers, I'm Josie Clark and welcome to Countdown. Last Sunday was the 69th Emmy Awards and wow, a whole lot happened. But don't worry if you missed it because I'm here to give you the highlights. Number five, Alec Baldwin giving his Emmy to Trump. Alec Baldwin won an Emmy for his outstanding supporting acting role on Saturday Night Live as Donald Trump. When he came up to receive his award he, and make his speech, he said, finally, Mr. President, here is your Emmy making a jab at how Trump has never won an Emmy, although he's been nominated a few times. A few more jokes were made at the president's expense, which seemed to be the running theme of this year's Emmys. Number four, the 9 to 5 reunion. In the 1980 film 9 to 5 came out as a comedy starring Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin. It's about three working ladies overcoming their sexist, egotistical, lying boss. And at this year's Emmy, they made a reunion while presenting the award for Best Supporting Actor in a Limited Movie or Series. Before they gave out their award, Dolly mentioned how she wanted this reunion for a while. Then Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin claimed that in 1980, they wouldn't be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. In 2017, that was still true. You can imagine who that was pointed at. The few women, the women made a few more slightly inappropriate jokes, and the audience loved it, including me. Number three, RuPaul dressing as the Emmy. On a lighter note, the Emmy's host, Stephen Colbert, conducted an interview with none other than the Emmy herself. And who better to dress up as Emmy than RuPaul, host of RuPaul's Drag Race, which he won an Emmy for this year as well. Stephen Colbert asks Emmy all kinds of questions, like has she dated the other awards, like Oscar or Tony? It's one of the only non-political moments of the Emmys and was a much needed comedy break for the show. It was lighthearted and very fun to watch. Number two, Sean Spicer? A surprise cameo was made by the White House's former press secretary at the end of the opening monologue. The audience was extremely shocked to see him there, including Melissa McCarthy, who has played him on Saturday Night Live. And she honestly looked very uncomfortable. Sean Spicer made jokes about things he said himself as acting press secretary. Most of the people watching were not happy to see him trying to rebrand himself. They didn't think he should be on stage making jokes as a way to gain back audience's favor. Truthfully, it seemed desperate, and I wasn't a fan. But you have to admit, no one saw it coming. And number one, a year of firsts. Donald Glover won both Best Actor and Best Director in a comedy series for Atlanta. He is the first black man to ever win an Emmy for directing. And this wasn't the only first for the Emmys. Lena Waithe won for Best Comedy Writing for Master of None and was the first black woman black female to do so. Their speeches were amazing and they truly made history that night. Well, there you go. Those are my top five Emmy moments. Thank you for tuning in to Countdown.